Hi everyone. We've got a simple little video today. It's not going to be suitable for absolutely everyone. Putting fuel in the car is something that a lot of learners don't get taught on the lesson. So we're going to have a quick, simple look at it today. If this isn't for you, probably check out this video in the corner of the screen instead. It's probably one of my most unwatched and most important ones. Putting fuel into a car is a simple thing. It's one thing that we've all probably done many, many times, but learners, honestly, they tend to try and do their lessons in as cheap a price as possible. So sometimes it's a skill that is missed. So we're gonna have a quick look at it today. Now, when do I fill up? I fill up before the car gets really, really low, before the warning light comes on. And I've got one simple reason to do this. I remember years ago, it was one of the first cars I ever had. I had a problem with the injectors in my car. Um, and for the uh, people who need layman's terms, it's the, effectively the, the thing, um, the, the device that squirts fuel into the engine. I had a problem um, with this. And the, the guy who I took it to said, because, I used to let my fuel tank run down really low all the time, that the car had picked up a lot of bits and rubbish from the bottom of the fuel tank and it had clogged up these injectors and made the car have a big, big problem. So I've never ever let it get down to really, really low. I tend to fill it up when it's just below a quarter of a tank. I generally don't let it get any lower than that. So we're at that level now. So we're just going to head off and go and fill the car up. I use a good petrol station. Um, what I mean by good, I don't use supermarket fuels. Um, it's just a preference, to be honest. I have found a couple of stories that supermarket fuels are often purchased by the supermarket and it's all the lower quality fuels. So I tend to use one of the... Um, the, the sort of branded names of petrol station for all my cars. So that's where we're heading off today. There is one just a little touch further up the road that we're gonna use. people who, who don't know we've got two different types of fuel we've got petrol or diesel and it's simply stated on the petrol cap so that's not usually a big big deal to work that one out the other thing that I actually didn't know until probably a couple of years ago my missus pointed this out to me was on your fuel gauge you have a little picture of a petrol pump and it's got a triangle either one side or the other and this triangle actually tells you which side your petrol cap is on your car and I was absolutely gobsmacked and blown away when my missus told me this so we always learn stuff we always pick up stuff from other people so we're gonna head to this petrol station a little touch further um, this is a diesel car so we're obviously going to be putting diesel fuels in and there are usually a couple of options of fuel there's a higher grade fuel and just a normal grade and that can be both in petrol and it can be in diesel also the higher grade fuel would be something that i would put in my missus's m3 uh, a performance car needs the higher grade i just put normal grade in this however it doesn't do any harm if you do use the higher grade fuel it's just going to cost you a little bit more there may be certain benefits although I'm not going to comment on them that it is better for your engine and it gives you a few more miles out of that tank full that you're going to fill up but I again I'm not going to I'm not going to comment on that because I've actually found not a lot of difference to be honest when 
um, I use the the higher grade fuel on my miles per gallon but it could be different with different cars so we know the petrol filler cap on this car is on the right hand side and we're going to go and fill up so we've got the petrol station what you need to do is as always with any area that there could be people around you've got to be really really careful there could be people walking in between the cars um, usually got a choice of which side that you wish to position your car but some petrol stations will allow you to actually park either side i'm just going to keep an eye out for this fella this fella's letting me go thank you buddy and we're going to go around and go to that furthest one i'm just keeping an eye on this um horrible color bmw m3 because if i go up there he's not going to get out so um i'm letting him go first just a little bit of courtesy I'm obviously joking about the horrible colour M3 because it's the same one as my missus. You don't often see them in Sakia Orange, it's called. So we're here, we're in a good position with the pump, so I'm all okay. So turn your car off, take your payment method with you, and real important thing is to take your key with you. Don't leave your keys in your car. When you get out, lock your car as well. So we've got um, a diesel car to fill, simple. We pick the appropriate diesel, we're just gonna go for the normal one. And when you lift the nozzle up, make sure you keep it upright and then place it in the holder. If you look at the display, we probably can't see it from there, it goes to zero and you literally dispense the fuel until you've actually got enough. How would you know when it's full? It's a simple question again, that a lot of people would understand and would know anyway. Um, but when it is full, it literally just stops and clicks off. So you don't need to do anything, but if you hear it click off, a lot of the time that means it's full. It can be sometimes as well, if you haven't inserted the nozzle far enough into the actual fuel filler and the actual fuel backs up in the actual neck of the fuel tank that goes down to the fuel tank. So, that can be one other thing also, but generally it's just going to click off. You get to know how much fuel your car uses. This one, it's going to take probably 60 quid's worth or so to fill up. This next part, there we go, £52.28. This next part's important. It's the bit that stops you spilling it. As you take the fuel uh, hose out, make sure you lean it down so any excess fuel actually goes back in the nozzle rather than spilling all over the fuel or all over the floor and you literally place it back in shut your petrol cap back up again and then you go and pay number four please Nice one, buddy. Thank you. So, all done, all dusted. Um, honestly, it's a simple task, but I hope that's helped a little. It's something, like I said, that drive instructors shouldn't really be doing unless your pupil asks for it. Um, I wouldn't be wasting my pupil's money on a driving lesson, um, filling up all the time. I tend to fill up when um, it's last thing at night, so I'm ready to go in the morning. But if your driving instructor um, hasn't taught you and you want him to show you, him or her to show you, ask them. I'm sure they'll oblige. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Hope to see you all soon.